Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Um, today I want to talk about my lychee tree. Um, so this tree here can be considered um, my favorite tree in my yard. Um, it is about two feet tall uh, with a bunch of new growth for the season. But if you look closely, you will see that it has flowers. Um, so this tree here I bought about two years ago, um, put it in the ground right away. And usually for an air layer, which this tree was, or a grafted tree, um, it takes about three to five years for it to start flowering. And uh, this is the third year, and it is right on time. Um, the thing about lychee tree is that um, you have to have a lot of patience because it is a very, very slow growing tree. Um, so I kid you not, uh, for the past two years, it may have grown maybe an inch or two inches. Um, the tree looks the same to me since when I first bought it, so I, I can't really tell. But with the new growth, I'm sure it added maybe an inch or two inches. So within my lifetime, or for this tree to hit maybe about five feet tall, it may take me 10 years. Um, so if you are worried about um, space in your yard, uh, this tree may be a good candidate. Uh, however, it is a very particular tree. Uh, tree. Um, there are a lot of conditions um, that it requires for it to thrive. Um, so this tree is not a tropical tree. It is a subtropical tree. Um, therefore, it uh, requires... Uh, chill hours. Um, so this is a Brewster. Um, so it requires a hundred hours of chill time uh, below 45 degrees uh, for it to flower the next season. And here in SoCal, uh, we get that temperature, right? But then during the summer, it wants the temperature to be, you know, in the 70 and 80 for it to perform uh, well. So it is a very particular tree. Um, beside the temperature, it um, if you look at the leaves here, you can see the tips are burnt. Um, so it requires good soil and um, you know good uh, temperature and not too much fluctuation. Uh, so for the soil, you know it takes times for it to get used to the soil around. Um, you can't really over fertilize it, um, it, it, the root will burn and you can see that on the leaves uh, at, the, at the tips uh, because of the burn. Um, so uh, when I, so I kid you, this tree is actually my second tree, the first tree I kill um, because um, as you know, I like things to look good and the first tree when I put it in the ground, the leaves, um, the, you know, the tips burn. And then, you know, so I prune them off, you know, one by one by one. And before I knew it, you know, everything was off just like my longan tree. And then that forced it to grow, um, you know, the next flush. But then with, with, the, you know, with the new flush that came out, it was also burnt at the tip. So, you know, I kind of pruned that as well, and then it died. Um, so for the second tree, I knew better. I just left it the way, um, you know, it was. Didn't care that, you know, the, the tips were burnt. Um, so, you know, that's how I got it to here today. Um, so for lychee tree, um, you can prune it like a long end, but you can only prune it right after you harvest the fruit or maybe a week or two later and, you know, and no other time. Because if you do it any other time or over prune it, it may not fruit for you the next season, um, just like my long end, but it's, uh, you know, it's more sensitive to that. So pruning you got to prune at the right time uh, it has to have good soil you got to be in the right temperature zone and then for fertilization you don't um i've read a lot of articles that they say don't feed it a lot and some people you know don't even feed it at all and the only nutrient it gets are the you know the mulch under the you know under the tree and that's how it gets its nutrient um, but if you do fertilize it, you want to fertilize it after it flowered already. If you fertilize it before it flower, uh, you know, during the winter when it is dormant and not growing, it may not flower for you because it has too much nutrient in the soil and it just want to grow, you know, new leaves and wood. 
So you can fertilize it after it has already flowered in the spring. And then one more time uh, around June time frame, uh, you know, not before it goes dormant because when, once it goes dormant, the you know the you know the nitrogen uh, phosphorus and nitrate are always going to be in the ground there not being used and then once it start to grow again it say it sees that you know hey i got a lot of food so i'm just going to grow and not produce for you and uh, for the lychee tree you can't really expect it to give you a good harvest year after year uh, for lychee it may give you one good harvest and then the next year uh, maybe a little bit less and then the third year maybe nothing and then the fourth year will give you a good harvest so you know it's it, it varies you can't really tell you know good harvest this year maybe good next year and not the year after but overall um, this tree does uh, you know it requires a lot of patience to, to you know to grow it and um, it's a very elegant tree so if you like to have something nice in your garden um this tree is a must-have uh it is a brewster the fruit is quite beautiful is red purple so it will light up your uh garden um so i hope you like um that little bit uh piece of information about uh lychee tree and uh if you like the content please give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with me and my trees thank you and have a good day